nuts. His uh, his block control, very good. And he's got all the tricks. I mean, we're, we're seeing a lot of tricky players here, actually, in top yeah. eight. Love to see it. It's, fun. it's, all, the, it's all like the unorthodox one, too. Yeah, the hidden boss is coming out for the Arcadian. Pongo, I think. Pongo's where? New, he's from Long Island, I think. He goes to um, Sienna College, I think he goes to. So School Upstate lives in Long Island? Yeah. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. And Coda, we know he's Long Island, Long Island Peach. Mm -hmm. See, Sizzle, I think, is a uh, PA. Oh, no. Think, Long from. Island and Winner's Finals both? Oh, oh no. Oh, man. We did, we did not defend well today. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's talk about let's talk about how, how Cody is moving and grooving on yes. uh, Pongo right now. Very good start. You know, Cody, uh, Cody, Winners Finals is not like a, a strange position for Cody at all. No, not at all. And this is you know the Arcadian where I believe he was definitely seated in the top three. Definitely, so I think top three was like actually like Noku Gatsby and uh, I think him. Yeah, very earned. He's earned a spot in these open brackets already. So now an Arcadian is definitely time for him to. To look for that win, I mean. Oh my God, the block Hang saving his life. Hango, ready for that. That is so that broken. That is enough, though. That is so broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see Link do that, I'm just like, that's wild. Because he's never killed off it. But I'm watching it now, and I'm just like, that's terrifying. You're just forced to just stay. Well, not forced, but like you're conditioned just to stay there and ledge because you're scared of Peach. Oh. So, so, hello? Pressing way too many buttons. <laughs> Or maybe he's just, you know, maybe got a little disrespectful. Maybe, you know, just like, yo, you Steve, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm Pongo, I'm Peach. Oh, Look there's, at my nerves. there's. Right across the stage, man, 39%, uncontested. Yeah, and this pressure from Peach, this is a matchup where if you are not positioned properly with Steve and you're not playing the mid-range well, you will get absolutely run over. Absolutely blasted. Oh, that's Jesus! a very good setup. He gets lucky. Really lucky what a to not, not get hit by that explosion. Stopping with the float and then coming right in with the 402 on oh, the mix up some Peach has on her own offense is broken. Oh, great there from Cody. Snipes. And the crown yeah. smack. You gotta respect it. He's on point right now. Cody looking super poised right now. Holy hell. Yeah, I'm loving these inputs. I mean, he's just. He's. Oh, okay, okay. Dash tag there. <laughs> Got diamond on lock now, so. This could be does. scary. Oh, that late grab. He's not really with an out of shield option other than there, but it's like you don't want to really rise up and see if he's doing a up tilt on your shield. So I'm very curious to see how like Cody will uh, will deal with uh, Steve up tilting in her face. Oh dear. Oh, not a, are you serious? Not enough, not enough. But Pango doing an insane job making this comeback. The diamond is the difference maker here. Trying to up tilt, double roll to get out of here, and that shield is looking mighty oh. tiny. I mean, very importantly, it looks like Cody is nervous. And understandably, I you would know? be too. If I see, a, if you see a, a Steve just f smashing, they're feeling this. Yeah. Half of the game is mental here against Diamond. Oh, and that's gonna be enough. Really great job bringing this back. I feel oh. like he tried to back air him out of the, out of the cart. Oh, but Cody, feigning some aerials there. Oh, catches right. him jumping Almost out. Stuck. Oh, curves under. Oh, he's so he scary there. He's he just, so oh scary. And he pulled the backer at the perfect time. How does he know? How, how does he? How, yo. Huge from Cody. I mean, what? The, I, the more I think about that, like. He, that was insane. That was at the perfect time. That move is not very active. What? He just knew. He just stood there in one position, just like float, float, float. Mop, booty yeah. bump. It wasn't, up, it wasn't like he was pressing it over and over. No. He floated, empty floated three times in a row and pressed it at the perfect time. I mean. Great job him, from Cody there. Pressuring him with the, just movement alone. Yeah. Shades of Venia. Wow, that was. I'm sorry, but Depongo and Tyler kind of look like the same. Am I trolling? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, you're not Am trolling. I trolling? <laughs> like, these two. <laughs> you look at him. They literally have to, like a very similar haircut, very similar slender build. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean it in the best way. You know? <laughs> I mean it in the best way. And and, uh, and Tyler's coaching him too. Yes. Got the ice coaching here. Cody did not appear to have a coach. Mm -mm. I don't really think he needs one. I don't think one, he needs you know? one. He's got the experience in this uh, in this situation. Honestly, from the way Cody's playing, this is looking like a spot in New York PR, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. This PR level, he is moving. Oh, gets oh, another knockdown, though. Oh, he. Uh, Hanko looking for a nil setup. Love the attempt. He, that would have been dead, honestly. If he got that other up. If he did, Cody didn't tech there, that he was dead. That would have been the ladder into an up smash. Ooh. Oh, and the float got him out of that landing hitbox. Oh, great movement there. I am at a loss of words. <laughs> the, the three blocks, like who knew? Oh, not enough there with the stone to get a shield break. Not enough. 
And that forward air will send him straight off stage. But I do love this stage for uh, for Pango because he can go for that, that ledge trap setup. Can okay, not so enough. Not, noted. Not bet, not taking Steve's to this stage. Yeah, this is <laughs> as a Steve player, I will say this is my favorite stage. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just like a little playground. This is creative mode for Steve. Yes, I Speaking love it. Being a creative, look at the ledge stalling right oh, there, and, just and then the mine cart. Yeah, chooses the perfect time to uh, to get back on stage. Oh, not enough there. You know, for the amount of times, for how often you see people get smacked block, with block. Peach Crown, that move is deceptively slow. Oh yeah, the startup on it. Rough. But the peaches will hit you with it. Oh, he's going on. Yo, he is hunting. Cody, he's very good at that. Uh, when he'll. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. dies from that. Cody is very good at, uh, at air dodging and drifting in a very, very, very deceptive way to get out of situations that could have been very disastrous. Oh, what a cut. Okay, 49% custom combo. We're not seeing the Nair, the Nair train this time. Now he's staying above the minecart. Very okay. good stuff, very Looking good pretty stuff. pretty even right now. Yeah, definitely anyone's game, and that crown smacks disciplining Steve a little bit. I go with no gold. Definitely running low here. So, one he, thing I'm noticing. He wants the stock. Okay, I thought it was just like in his game versus Dia Scream, but now that I'm watching more Pango, he goes through his resources like, like, like just like chump change, bro. Oh, yeah. We're seeing these down airs oh, being lot. pulled. But it's not just that. Just like you look at his resources meter, and it might just be like, you know, the opponents are like pressuring him a lot. But his resources are almost never full. Yeah. What? Oh, and gets the star KO. Hell, that was a miss input from uh from Cody. You see him just back airing in place. Yeah, he did not want to mess with the shield there. That up smash out of shield is waiting. Yes, indeed. Oh, and this is a good spot. When Pango gets the the pressure there, he can choose between trying to uh to punish a roll in or a roll away, and it could be could be disastrous if Cody rolls out. So good on him to roll in. Yes, indeed. Look at that. That was wonderful from him. Oh, a little greedy it. on the grab there, I think. The startup is, is too high. Yeah, for a character like Peach, you don't want to just like throw, any, throw out a super grounded option. Oh, that's scary. You know, he's good lead go. here. Very good lead for Pongo. Yeah. Recognizing where Pongo Here's Recognize the trap. Here's the goes. trap. Woo. Oh, oh, oh ah, but, but yeah. there's no escape. Honestly, I love that because the explosion is a little is a little deceptive, right? It's like, oh, you can come back to ledge because I just exploded this. But then as soon as you up tilt, you can just run straight and down smash immediately. Mm -hmm. He has not much lag. Very good stuff with Pongo, yeah. man. That stage helped a lot, but I think also great adjustments from Pongo. Ooh. On to game three. With Town and City being the being the play, mm -hmm. small blast zone, so this can favor both of them, honestly. But I think Cody just wants more move to more room to uh, move around. Yes, I will say. I mean, Cody always killing off the side, right? We have to admit, like there is almost no situation where he is killing off the top. So oh, Jesus Christ, starting off by smacking him in the face <laughs> with the crowd. I am punishing these air dodges. I'll box me build. Back it oh, up. and uses yeah, yeah, yeah. The the most optimal of those kind of punishes. Quick little sword swing out of shield into a falling up air. Dude, I yeah yeah. Oh, hey, no. Cody, never count. I never seen counter these. Like you see it coming. Goodbye. Oh, he goodbye. set himself in the perfect spot. Cody, almost not even paying attention to what Pongo was doing there. Just panic going to the corner. Fast fall neutral air dodge. Gets blown up. Dude, gets destroyed by that. Yeah, back on Diamond. Oh, no. No, he's sending a wonderful crown smack. Sending him far away. But he, again, he's getting hit by the, the stray cart. I don't know what Tyler told Pongo, but it is working. It's working out. For sure. Tyler, maybe a Steve expert, you know? I might have to make fun of him after this. <laughs> <laughs> you hate the character so much, you might as know what they do. <laughs> oh, looking for the setup. Ooh, I love it. Nasty. I love it. Could be a, uh, a perfect shield break if he sets it up correctly. Oh. One thing that um, Pongo can get away with these minecarts for free is because Cody is never trying to counter it. He ha I don't yeah. know if Peach Counter can do anything about it, but it's like... You we ha haven't seen an attempt. Exactly. Like, you can do something, man. I think Peach does deal with minecart in, in a multitude of ways that Cody is definitely underutilizing. He's giving it far too much respect. Way too much. <laughs> 
Oh, it's so exciting uh, doubles there. <laughs> oh, good on good on Cody rolling away there. He doesn't need to deal with the rest of that move. Oh, and just catches that. He's controlling the airspace a little bit with those uh, those back airs, Pongo. Yeah, okay, good combos going on here. Oh, goes through, but dash tag. Dude, I'll just bring oh, it down. No, oh, it real no, quick. this damage. Here, there we go. Nice dash that get him away from you. And another minecart that Cody's never ready for. Cody's jumping into them a I lot. Feel like, like a lot of times he's getting hit by these minecarts. It's like he's in the middle of doing something else. He's always pressing so many buttons. See, look at that. Yeah. Bang bang with forward air into a into a into a forward air himself. Mongo getting much better at oh and just catches it. Yeah, that's a very, very easy uh catch on neutral ghetto. That that down smash stays out forever. Huge too. Yeah. So I think what uh, what Pongo is doing so much better against Cody here is not looking for really any out of shield options because Peach has such great shield pressure, such safe pressure, and can really mix you up there and force a very tough reaction. He's getting whiff punishes by positioning properly and looking for the way that uh, that Cody's landing with some of these aerials, mm -hmm. and also jumping into these minecarts. I mean, we're seeing it too consistently. And he's never countering a single. Never countering. One. Has not tried it. Cody, when you watch this bot, bot, just know I'm roasting you right now. I'm, I'm roasting you. You can, ca you have, uh, and it's like it's not like it takes a while to start up either. It's quick. He can hop up, pull out the toad, and then just you know send that car. Well, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't reflect the mine car, but it's like for I a wonder. big hit. I, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen that interaction. Actually, I'm just trying to think. I, I do think he should be getting a little bit more like like he should be counter hitting the mine cart rather than trying to jump around it and punish that. This is not working out for him, this current strategy, but I hope he tries out a counter this game. I'm curious. It might be kind of inconsistent. It's very possible. Soto and Eli versus Shane and Mario. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to game four. Same stage. Same stage. Oh, and then catches the rollout. That's what I mean. Oh, that was good. You want to mix up the rolls against Steve pressuring you like that? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely mix up the role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that reminds me of a time I was watching Tyler versus Wraith. And Wraith blew himself up with the C4, and I just had to leave the contest. <laughs> no, that can't be it. No okay. Way. You're not going to go out like that, please, Double Cody. Oh, rebuilding some wood. There we go. Okay, there. Okay, that's a punish that we like to see. Oh, yeah, it's turn up, turn up oh, a win. You hit the, the Steve in the car. Absolutely. Oh, he actually got away from that. Oh, getting, getting crazy on this anvil, and that's and enough. goodbye. Yeah, Cody. I don't know. He's the airspace is just being owned right now. I feel like it's like Pongo. every time like Cody's like because half the time he's getting hit with these minecarts, he's floating. So I think like Cody's like hard committing to another option while he's while he's just floating around, and Pongo just not. It, Pongo just doesn't care. He's letting yeah. these minecarts fly. Mr. Saturn, chilling. Oh, well, if you don't three pick bears. up that freaking Saturn! You have an oh. item that breaks shield, and you're not going to play around with it? I've seen Cody do some stuff with it, too. I'm surprised. But, oh, this is working out for him. Dash tag will do it. Nice. Hold on to it. Yeah, let, let's nice see something, catch. Cody. Nice Okay, Cody, If anyone mind. is capable here of, of, of some sort of setup, Cody's got it. It's definitely him. Pick like, it up again. Huh? Cody shut me up real quick. I was out here playing it. Wow, the double spot time. Oh. oh, he goes for it. Oh, yeah. Fungo. <laughs> I'm so scared. He's like, I don't want. I don't. I don't, I don't want. Doesn't to trust play. himself to work with it at all. He just says, Nah. And from how from how he's pressuring Cody and having him sit in shield so often, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, broken. Oh, but Cody's out. doing a great job. He's even this game up. Yeah, okay. If he can take the stock before Pongo gets diamond, that's huge. That is. Huge. He doesn't have diamond already. No, he not for the. He has it in his thing, but not for the next stock, and oh, that's okay. key. I'm wondering how close he is. Judging off this, he is yeah, very. Yeah, uh, okay. that's, that's hard. Stuff. He gave him that space, you know. I don't disagree with it though. Oh, oh my God! Caught the roll in. That back air hitbox is huge. He did not expect to get hit by that one. Yes, there. Finally. Finally. Like, yes. Thank He's you, been Cody. Fishing. You've been trying to do that the whole set. Oh, that grab! Can't believe it hit him. Oh, and now he gets it. Okay. Missing the punish on that. Not All Cody needs is his. Oh, can he get the spike though? No nope. spike. No Barely spike. Missing. Could have it, been it right there. Spike. Oh, Punga doing a great job moving around here. Cody gets his combo though. His version of the the Steve. <laughs> 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 F tilt ever. 
Oh, even up a percent. Oh, missing him on the up a shield a little this bit. This is big. This is huge. He's able to like spread these rocks pretty quickly, but you can't really like go past it. Oh my god! Oh, double hit on that. The block. Next hit is it. Oh, and he jumps into it bro? again. Every oh, single but he lives. time the bike court is just the breadwinner for Pongo in this matchup. Oh, and you can't no, escape. That's not it. Wait, that's that's not so it. weak. Very weak. Oh, that was committing to a down tilt there. Dumps into it again. Goes right to the marker. That was almost very close to killing him. This is, it could be anyone's. Oh, and that backer will the do back it. Backer, much much stronger there. Congo takes it. Three Congo one. is killing it today. Steve. He's sitting in Winterside Grands. Winterside Grands. Let's Steve. go, Steve. Eh.